So, so basically, I have uh, redeployed this service uh, with the uh, JNDI name created already. So here is the uh, uh, the JNDI name that I have created on the in the WebLogic console. Uh, so that error has gone away. So basically, to to deploy a service, uh, as I mentioned, you got to start a, a new session and click import config file here. See. Before this, I just wanted to correct the, uh, the JNDI name. So in the business service. That this business service is referring to a, a JNDI that is not defined. So, so here I am gonna give the uh, the JNDI name that I have created just now created in the the console. So I'm gonna do a export again. So I'll go to the service plus Oracle services console and do a import of the file, of the jar file, invoice demo over there, the service bus jar file and say next and import. So, so it's not giving me an error. So, so before deploying, make sure that you have uh, the JNDI name uh, is defined in the WebLogic console. The data source uh, is configured in the uh, in the WebLogic console, and say activate. So, so when you say activate, uh, uh, this service is basically ready to be used. So to test this service, you you click here, you come here, and uh, click on the service. So when you click on this service, you will see this uh, this service you know that can be tested. So to test this service, you can say like launch the test console, or you can test the pipeline, or you can also test the business service. You know before you uh, test your uh, proxy service, you can uh, test the uh, your business service. So when you click here, uh, click the business service, you can also or test this service actually. So this will directly call your uh, the the store procedure, the PLC equally if it's gonna directly call. Uh, to test your REST service, what you can do is, uh, as I mentioned, go to the project, and here you will see uh, list your business service, uh, the pipeline service, and the pipeline and this proxy service. So you can click the, uh, the launch test console. Uh, so here uh, you got to select the uh, the JSON service. So remember our service was uh, exposed as uh, it was exposed as the the SOAP based service and the REST service. So you can test both the proxy services. So here you can if you click this. Uh, uh, invoice proxy service this is a soap service you can test uh, you can enter the values and you know um, and click execute you can test the service so similarly uh, you can you can select this 
uh, invoice RS, it's a RESTful service. You can uh, here you can send the uh, uh, the the JSON payload actually. So you can just say execute. You know, it gave a, a error uh, saying that uh, uh, you know because it's not a valid data. So uh, so if you send your uh, with with the proper data, you will will get the response. So, so basically, in this tutorial, you saw uh, uh, the JDeveloper version that you need to install the steps for the uh, the steps that you need to follow to install the proper uh, version, the 12.1.3 version, the the, uh, the requisite the prerequisite JDK that it needs, and uh, you saw like how to create an application, how to create a OSV project. Uh, within the OSV project, you saw uh, uh, how to create uh, your business service that calls the uh, uh, that calls the the PL SQL store procedure. It could call any other uh, services like external services or a, a custom Java services you can invoke. You saw how to create a pipeline uh, to process your request and response messages and different resource file, the transformation file, specifically the X query file that you use to transform your request and response messages. And uh, we created a business service, as I mentioned, and uh, the transformation that we covered. We also covered the, uh, we exposed this, uh, this function, this business service uh, as a JSON based and a SOAP service. And using, uh, using like a message model, uh, you know that is uh, that is like easily understood is easily understandable and we also saw, saw like you know how do you deploy your service in the on the uh, oracle service bus uh, console you can test you know, you can test your service using the oracle service bus console or you can also use uh, uh, like a soap ui to test your service So with, with the SOAP UI, basically what you can do is you can uh, uh, create a new REST project or a new SOAP project or give your uh, the URL, the, the visitor URL or the, uh, or this, the complete, the, the, for the JSON you got to give the, uh, when you, you have to give the JSON URL here. So the way to get the URL is, you know, you will go to the, uh, uh, your console, you go go to your console and uh, have your uh, uh, the host and the port and you have uh, in the rest service you have to basically uh, go to the transport in the WADL file you have to go to the uh, the transport to get the URI. So, so here, uh, invoice RS, so what I'll do is, I have to go to the transport, click on the transport, so this is your endpoint URL, so your host port and this URL. So you can change this uh, to whatever, you can just say like slash invoice, you can just say invoice and uh, save you can like redeploy it so in your uh, in your soap project when you uh, in your in your uri basically you're going to enter your uh, host name port name and uh, the uri just i mentioned so with that basically you'll be able to uh, uh, test this endpoint url and so uh, to test the SOAP service in the same way, basically we got, we just have to give the visual URL actually. So with the with this actually, you know, I'll conclude this uh, tutorial. You know, feel free to uh, leave comments or you know, if you have any questions, I'll be uh, uploading some other uh, some other like uh, other tutorials on OSB, uh, uh, Oracle, SOA, uh, middleware, uh, like a Beeple tutorial, 
other components of this over suite you know i'll be covering those tutorials and i will also cover uh, several other topics like etl uh, with uh, with open source tools like talent or uh, mobile application development so i'll be covering uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of integration uh, related topics or uh, app development topics so feel free to uh, leave comments and if you have any questions you, know, you can always ask and you know subscribe this channel because you know you might find this uh, uh, these tutorials really helpful to get jump started on your projects uh, so that you don't need to spend uh, a lot of time uh, reading documentation uh, though that's also useful uh, but this tutorial will i'm hoping that uh, it will be useful for you so thank you and bye